guys are doing well and i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the garden renovation clip, clip. Mm. so now we are going to be talking to you guys about the garden and what we did to the garden now firstly how nice does it look yes give you guys give us there a massive a round of applause here comment down below what you think of it obviously it's the way we like it and the way we want it to look yeah. like and for an amateur amateur landscapers i think we, we did, did a good job well. i think we did really really well Boom. so I'm really happy with it i wanted to just quickly mention now the garden the way we decorated it suits our garden and the sizing of it the now. layout of yeah. the garden now we haven't got the biggest garden out there so what we did to our garden fits well with our garden and now you guys need to understand that we had a lot of difficulties doing this because we had massive like branches we like, had like piles of like rubbish, soil and rubbish almost. and basically it was not maintained whatsoever At and there all. was things were coming out of the soil and all sorts of kind of we found stuff. random things like, like we have found like some uh, polystyrene uh, graveyard a graveyard a graveyard we, stone we found made of polystyrene a mirror hidden in the soil it was so bizarre like so we're gonna go and start from the right beginning when we first mm -hmm. when we first saw the garden now when we first saw the garden like adel just said it was a tip now that people before us probably chucked you do want to look at it in there like it was so disappointed yeah. because this house is really lovely but the garden was horrible now me and adol we were thinking of really getting someone to do the garden it was that bad wasn't it yeah like to that extreme we didn't enjoy the garden for ages didn't it no because for years and years we did not enjoy the garden whatsoever because it was such a huge job but um slowly slowly and they had we get started anyway just... i think we just started chucking the rubbish mm. chucking the rubbish. and the amount of times that we went to skip guys you don't even understand we went to the skips like back a and forth times. back and forth back and forth our car was a tip we had to take it to get get it cleaned like the amount of times we got but you got to think about it yeah you're saving cost of labor from for paying somebody else to do it yeah and by the way we have written everything down of how much we spent yeah, it was actually like hitting yourself with reality. To be honest, that's cheaper than yeah. what, what I, if you were to get a landscaper to come and design the garden for you. It would be like and in the And then do the garden for you, it would be a lot more. E easily in the thousands. So yeah, it would be shocked to the price. I yeah. think it's a really good price. I for, think it's a very, for, very for good a price. a garden transformation. 100%. Okay, so to start off the basics. Now, what we had to do was we had to first, first and foremost get rid of the garbage. So we basically went in the garden just literally took everything out and binned it like put it in black bags just and then put it in skip. everything out pulling out all the weeds put out the weeds plants that are not needed dead soil bag, in, bag them put rubbish. it inside bag them put it inside until we clean the whole garden from one side to another yeah and then all was like clean they brushed it all on one side then we had to turn off turn around turn the soil around so yeah, it's like so fresh soil yeah we digged it and turned it around so it's uh, any weed roots anything come out and then any stones and stuff we can take them out as well we had a blank canvas and then it was time to accessorize it and buy the things that we wanted for the garden so for us practically because we're very busy people and we're on the go turf just seems to be the ideal thing for us it's less fake, maintenance fake turf it's just less maintain, uh, maintenance and it's just it just works for us anyways you with our easily, lifestyle we can easily hoover it we hoovered the other day yeah. and it was nice and clean and it just it was actually really convenient and we bought it from amazon and it was like what delivery in like three days or whatever yeah, so it was actually really days. really quick mm. so um for the turf i have actually written it down we for our garden for our garden we because obviously like i said our garden's not the biggest yeah so you got to me measure your yeah. garden make sure you measure your garden so when you're buying turf it's set our certain measurements mm -hmm. like length width and millimeters the thickness of it so make sure you measure it and get the closest size to your or even if it's extra than what your garden is you it's better to get extra it, yeah. than just cut it but make sure it's very important to measure it and you need to know how many turfs you need how many rolls because you're getting rolls yeah. so you need uh, we got how many we got five we got five so that was the size for our garden yeah. there was extra we cut it we used it so when you cut it maybe you'll have a patch where you need the extra bit yeah so you can use the extra bit there you need to try and like be clever and especially if your garden's not like a square like ours mm. ours is kind of a bit of a different shape so yeah if yours is a square i guess it'll be pretty straightforward really yeah if it's but a square it's different. straightforward yeah 
So bear that in mind if you are doing your garden. Um, literally measure everything. That's the first thing we did before yeah, ordering anything. Hundred percent. Measure everything, and obviously, I would say before anything really is picture what you want your garden to look like. Now yeah, you can uh, you idea. can just sketch it out, do what you want. That's what kind of what we did. We had a yeah. vague idea of what we wanted the garden. So we said we want this year, we want that there, blah blah blah. So ours is. I want to just point one thing out. In the clip, you probably will see that our garden, our turf is not, not in all the areas, but some of the areas are not fully level because we have massive branches underneath the soil so and we could not trees. get rid of that at all. It is huge. Now to get rid of that tree would literally knock a house. It's only in the corners. Yeah. So the main area and everything is pretty, pretty level. Pretty yeah. good. Very good. It's just at the end, there's massive trees. When you see the video, you'll see huge trees. Yeah, it's um, massive. And well, you might not see it, but it's behind. It's, it's the old tree box still in there, so it's hard to take out. So you're just going to have to work with what works with your garden. I'll bear that in mind. So yeah. moving on, then um, before the turf, we needed an unla underlayer. So underlayer is crucial, isn't it? Underlayer is very crucial. Now underlay, the job of that is it'll stop the weed growing. Um, it will push Level everything down and make sure everything's in place and it'll stop any plants coming through and all of that bullshit. Cause once you put on a layer, there's no sunlight coming through, no water going through the soil, etc. So it can't grow. So it can't grow. So it'll help protect you from that. And we got that from Amazon as well. Amazon $12.99. $12.99 is huge. Now, one thing I didn't realize is they come in layers. Mm -hmm. So I, I still had it doubled in terms of layer. And I thought, oh, we might need another one. Yeah. We ordered another one. We didn't uh, need but it. But then we, I didn't realize I could fully open it. And it was huge mm -hmm. in terms of size. Again, measurements. It's okay. key. We'll obviously put all the items in the descriptions below yeah. so you can go and measure it and then see what measurements you need. Open it all up. Um, so I also will leave everything that we mentioned in the description box below. Direct links for you to just go on and purchase it just to make it easier for yourself. According to your size, etc. Yeah. So, um, okay, so the unlayer layer was 12 and 90 now. Now moving on to the turf for the size of our garden, we needed five and, okay. and it was retailed for 53.99. So that works out to be 241.95 for the turf. So the under layer yeah. and the turf is sorted. So now that's the basics, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the turf and the under layer. That's the two that's main the... main key things that you need. Yeah, two. Um, that's the biggest cost, I'd say. Yeah, that um, was where most of the money went on, now, that, to be fair. If obviously, if you know a bit about the turf, there's loads of different types of turfs. They go from low end to mid high range end. to high end. We got around the mid. The mid. The mid. The mid range. There's no need for high end. Like it's mid Again, range. Again, it depends on what you want for your garden. Yeah. So for us, we they just... all do the same job. Does the same job. You it's just it? softer or more thingy, yeah. etc. You know. That's it. Okay, so now that we've done that, so you guys will see from the clip that we added a little like walkway um, on the side, so border. a little border. So the white gravel that we added some white gravel just to make the garden look more Bright. brighter, mm. and we painted the walls to go, kind of go hand in hand with that. Now, if we walk yeah. into the garden from our dining room, it just brightens up the whole dining room. I feel like the room. green, because it's so bright green yeah. like turf, when you add a bit white, of white, it just proper stands out. The two colors bounce off each other and it's Amazing, perfect. yeah. So, in terms of the gravel, now we bought that from B&Q, and they had different types of like gravel. We bought the ones which is a bit bigger, and per bag it was nine nine pounds. They do different ones, like yeah. I mentioned. So there's some cheaper. It's twenty two and a half kg. Yeah, twenty two and a half kg per bag. For it's called pounds. a blue marble, white marble, blue something, something like, that. like that. So now it's nine pounds, and we bought seven bags of those. So those retail for sixty three. Pounds. Now that's not bad. Again, depends on how big your garden is or how small your garden. <laughs> how you much can you need? Work out you need. Yeah. yeah. How much you need? One quick note as well. When you're putting the gravel down, um, un make sure the underlay is underneath as well. Yeah. Don't just put it directly onto the soil. It's it's a lot better when it's uh, under on on top of an underlay. Mm. It saves the stones from getting dirty and it'll just sit on it well. Once it's settled and once you walk on it a little bit now and then, it'll, it'll settle and it'll stop. It won't move around the stone and stuff. It'll stay in one place. Okay, so now moving on to the little side brown fences that we added on the side, just to kind of hold the gravel in place and just make everything look kind of uniform and just looks really nice. Just and make neat. the walkway yeah more, more dominant, isn't it? Yeah. So in terms of that, now the brown side fence was four pounds each, and 
from B&Q? Um, so we bought that from B&Q and we bought, um, it was four pounds each. We needed for our garden nine. So that works out to be 36 pounds, yeah. which actually is a decent price Not to be bad, fair. Yeah. Um, they are really, really sturdy. I mean, if you wanted to They're go to the extra thick. layer, you can paint them if you want. You could do whatever mm. you want. They're very them. easy to put down. They're, they're, they have each pillar. There's each pillar on each end. Mm. One in the middle, one at the end, one in the middle, one the other end. And it's pointed. So all you got to do is just hammer, get, it down. hammer it down into the soil and it's sturdy. Okay, so now moving forward. In terms of the reed fence, now there's so many out there. Like there's some really good obviously like some really expensive ones there's some cheaper ones so this just depends on what you want to go for mm -hmm. now i know in being cute they do some for 24 pounds we found we an bargain. amazing bargain and home bargain so um it's the artificial reed we're talking yeah. about the one that screen goes just, all the yeah, way around the, kind of like, uh, the back yeah and we got it for home we bargain? bought it from home bargains for 5.99 now it's so important to do your research now we were so tempted to just go and get the 24 pounds yeah. one from um b and q we were about to but then let's say because we we got one previously and we, we didn't see it in stock for yeah. ages we thought let's go home bargain let's just check and then we found it yeah so um i mean if you if you guys are doing your garden on a budget Please do your um, research and just go and try different places out and see what Before works for you. Before you buy anything, go yeah. to every shop and see which one's the best and cheapest Because if we bought the ones for £24 and we needed, Ooh. it would have costed way more. So it was 5 99 for one and we needed six for our garden. And it's quite long guys. It's it, quite, it does stretch. Sorry, not long, it's quite wide, it does stretch. It does stretch so quite a lot. what I would suggest to test it out is buy one. Buy one. Stretch it out, see where it goes from that end to wherever you want it to go to. Yeah. Then you can then figure out how much you need by just looking at your garden. And yeah. Uh, that's what we did, right? That's what we did. Initially, we bought one and then measured it and then went back and obviously That's one more. tip. Always buy one of something that you don't know how big it's going to be. Yeah. And then test it out and then go and buy more. Okay, so that works out to be $35.94. Now, that is amazing oh, because... We cover the whole garden. Yeah, really. because one... One of them from B&Q was £24. So I think and they're it. so easy because you can cable tie them. So easy. Against the fences or old fences you had or against the tree. Against the tree. Against the tree, just uh, cable, cable tie. tie. Yeah. So straightforward. Steady. Now, in terms of the little fence we had around the flowers, so that's not necessary. The flower border, yeah? Yeah, the flower border. So that's not necessary if you guys don't want to do that for your garden. But I feel like, because we wanted some sort of flowers and we wanted some so sort of like, you know, I thought it was cool because we had the extra area that we didn't know what to do with it, to be fair with you. So we thought, why not just accessorize it and bring some color back into our garden? Yep. So we bought the flower fences for um, 5 99 no, five pounds, sorry, from B&M and we needed two for both sides. So that, yeah. that's 10 pounds so five, plus. Yep. Now in terms of the flowers, so that, that could be debatable as- How the, pretty are the flowers though? Beautiful. Colorful, isn't it? And um, that could be debatable as um, an accessory. So it's not really needed in terms of your garden or renovation as such. I feel like it's nice to have a nice yeah. colorful flower it area. Needs to, in. Like, just to brighten up your garden forever. A bit of flowers can really brighten up someone's day. So, Summer looks really nice in summer. Okay, so in terms of the flowers, we bought them from B&Q and they were th $3.99. They're so cheap, guys. Actually really, really inexpensive. So yeah, they were $3.99. Now they had that in offer. They had three for 11 pounds so it depends three on three or five for 11 no three for 11 okay. pounds so depends on how much you want you can obviously you can get a bit of a bargain basically so we mm. bought eight so 3.99 times eight is 31.92 there's loads of different varieties there's some for like two pounds fifty yeah. the green ones colorful ones we like the, the more colorful ones that's why they are 3.99 each. also i just want to point out uh, on one of the sides of the fence you only see one plant is only because we've actually planted seeds. more seeds in them yeah. Um, so obviously we're waiting for it to obviously nourish and stuff so okay so basically that's just the basic foundation of the do, garden do your garden up and obviously accessories just whatever you prefer afterwards but this is all the main things to do your garden turf soil turf underlay fences, fences and gravel, borders, if you to. gravel and that's doing your garden designing your garden the way you want it to be so for us that cost us 431.80 under 500, under 500 pounds, pounds. that's that amazing. Is crazy to do now the whole garden. we wanted to do the garden on a budget and we thought how can we do it honestly just do your research guys just just to let you know i did get a quote to get a landscaper to come and give me a quote and the guy said 1800 pounds 
for our garden, the size of our the garden. The least, there was a couple of them. The least was 1,500. Mm. That's labor, getting the materials, doing underlay, leveling the ground, and Just fencing. basically what we did. Basically what we did. And I thought, why not just do it ourselves? We can do it ourselves and we saved what? We saved over a thousand pounds, guys. Like, come over on. Over a thousand It's a thousand bargain. Pounds. For me, it's the bargain price yeah. to do the whole garden. Okay, so now um, you can easily do your garden under 500 pounds, just like we mentioned. Very, very easy to do. Now, in terms of the other stuff that we had in our garden, like the storage box, the log fire, all of that accessories, it's I will leave extra. them linked down below for you guys um, with the prices and stuff like that. I've got all the prices here. Um, so I'll leave that all linked down I mean, below for you. When you do the garden, you can get carried away. You can get carried away. Accessories. Trust me. And we did a bit. Uh, but it's nice to have a full garden, having nice stuff like storage boxes yeah. and plant stands and lights and... Just furniture. whatever works for you, it's, honestly. It's really nice. Um, yeah. And when it's summertime, when it's nice, you can actually it, enjoy it. You can enjoy it. And Hopefully, it in the UK, summer. when the summer actually kicks in, we can actually enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is the end of the Ooh, video. I really I feel like this was a long video, isn't it? This was a long, in-depth video. We finally uh, did it. We finally did it. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you Let guys us know did, your thought about the garden. Yeah. And if you're doing your garden, like we said, tag us in your pictures. Pictures, tag us. Um, if any ideas, we might get some more ideas from you or get ideas from our pick, uh, from our garden. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but go for it. Save a lot of money, and it's 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 a bit of hard work, but it pays off. Pays off in the end. Now we look safe. at it and we're like, mashallah. Yeah. Now look. we look at our garden really and we like really appreciate it because we put a lot of hard work in. Now it just it feels like an achievement, doesn't it? More than anything. And so, maintain it. That's it afterwards. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned, everything will be linked down below for you guys. Um, everything that we bought are linked down below, below for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And uh, we shall see you guys really, really soon in the next video. Peace.